In this video, I'm going to show you what HoneyBook automations are and how you can automate processes even further with HoneyBook. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I teach creative entrepreneurs how to run a successful business and make money. One of the biggest parts of that is streamlining with a client management system. I have a whole client management playlist here on my YouTube channel. Check it out. Watch so many other videos on this if you're interested in diving further into it. But in this video, we're going to talk about HoneyBook automations. I like to think of automations as the next level. So a lot of people aren't ready for this yet. If you're just diving into client management, maybe you're not quite ready to dip your toe into the automations yet because you still have to get everything else set up. You are going to, like without automations, these systems pay for themselves. These systems take so much off your plate. They prevent you from making mistakes. They keep everything in one place. They get rid of all the hassle. They do so much for your business, but automations are completely next level. And I think you'll be super excited to see what the future could hold for you. Or if you've already set everything up and you're ready to take that next level step, you're going to be so excited about this. So we're here on HoneyBook's page. Um, and just as a reminder, you can start HoneyBook for as low as $4.50 a month. I always hold up less than $5 a month um, with my code that gets you 50% off. Um, you can find that in the description of this video as well as a link that'll take you straight there. So you go to tools and automations, you will see the different workflows. And so I'll add a new automation template. Basically, you might think you're already automating things because you've got these templates, they're filling information in for you, the contract invoice and proposal are all on the same page. All of that is really great, but did you know you can set it up so you don't even have to do the three steps that it takes to send those things. You can do, go even further with this. So let's do a new automation template. Now I especially love the way that you can view visibly HoneyBook's automation templates. And if you've ever used ConvertKit, it's very similar to that. And I like that you can just see what's happening as opposed to listing everything out because that's a little bit easier for me as a visual learner. You'll add your first action and there's four actions you can do with HoneyBook's automations. So we've got send email, create task, send file via email, and then send flow via email. Flows may not be out for everyone by the time this video is posted. Um, it's something that's in beta and flows actually kind of allow you to combine and automate some other processes. So it's kind of a next level even. I'll have more videos on those as soon as they become active to everyone. But this is a great task that you can put in there. We'll focus on these first three because those are the ones that you probably know about at this point. Um, so you can send an email automatically. Okay, and then you'll pop up all of these email templates for you. There's a lot of different things you can do here. Um, if we create a new one, basically you'll just type in your subject. The first thing that I like to do is a welcome email. So this is a place that you can provide access to their client portal. I have another video on the HoneyBook client portal. You can attach a file. You can include links to blog posts, for instance. Um, you can do a lot of things here basically answering questions or preempting questions that you're going to get from them. So anything that will help the client through the process, you should provide in the welcome email explaining what's going to happen next. Um, so I'm an invitation designer and so I'll provide like an address um, etiquette, my address template that they're going to need to, uh, to fill out eventually, and also invitation wording etiquette. So those are just like blog posts that I have that I'll link them directly to. But there's a lot of things you can do and you can create this email template in um, the email template section as well. So you'll save that. We'll save it. Welcome to the family. Okay, so then over here we have the settings for this action. So basically um, you have the triggers and the trigger here is automation is activated. Uh, you can also do the project date, which could be for instance, the wedding date in my case, um, contract is signed, questionnaire submitted, invoice paid in full, first payment is made. I love that differentiation. I think that's really helpful to differentiate those triggers because um, you could do a separate email for after the, um, First payment is made, that's welcome to the family, and then whenever they pay in full, it's like, hey, thanks for paying in full. And then when a flow is completed, which again, we can't go too much into that on here, but the brochures feature I do have a video on if you wanna check that out. So all these different things you can use to um, trigger the flow, and you can do days, minutes, hours, or weeks after or before. So let's just set this, so if you want it to go kind of immediately after, it's, you go with zero days. Um, or zero minutes, yeah, it kind of says this at the bottom. So we'll just do that right after the first payment is made because they have to sign the contract and then make the payment. 
And if you want to require your own approval, so basically whenever this is ready, the contract has been signed, invoice has been paid, the first payment has been made, HoneyBook is gonna say, hey, we have an action waiting for your approval, so you can go in and send it. That's just in case you wanna add any additional resources or making any changes. I'm not gonna need that on this one, um, so we'll just click save. Then we'll add our next part of this workflow. So let's try sending a file and I'm gonna send a questionnaire. So right after Welcome to the Family, they have signed their contract and paid their invoice. It's time for me to send them their information questionnaire. I don't necessarily want it to trigger exactly at the same time as this Welcome to the Family email because I wanna give them time to do that. And in that email, I can say, hey, your questionnaire is coming in the next three hours, in the next 24 hours, whatever kind of makes sense. And then I'll put something, I'll put the trigger here to send this a couple hours later or the next morning or something like that. Um, so we'll use, I have my inv invitation information questionnaire and you can send it via email. So it's going to be, it's going to come in this email. So I can just create a new template saying, hey, this is your new questionnaire, fill it out. And then in, in five days, you'll get your first round of proofs. But nicer than that. Um, and I don't want it to be zero days. So maybe we'll go with like five hours after the other one. So this is wait five hours and then send this questionnaire. And I can do a require approval because on this questionnaire, maybe some of my clients have a rehearsal dinner card and a details card and all this other stuff and a map and some of my clients don't. So on my questionnaire, I'll put all of those things and then I'll go in and delete the things where they don't so that it's already in there. Um, I don't have to add anything because that's a lot more difficult than just clicking delete on a couple of questions. And we'll close that action and we'll click save. Oh, we're missing an email template there. That's fine. <laughs> And then maybe we create this task that's like design invitations. And so I have to design, uh, so I have to design the invitations for this person after they have sent in the questionnaire. So we'll do after, zero days after the questionnaire is submitted. Perfect. And we'll click save. Okay, it's still gonna not save things. Let's just select one of these. Save, perfect. So I'm gonna name this um, custom invitation automation. We'll save our changes again. And then what's really cool in HoneyBook is you have different project types when you bring a client in or start a new project. So the four that I have are coaching day of social and wedding invites, and this is custom invitation automation. So I'll just apply it to any time um, the project type that I select is wedding invites. You can also apply it to the entire contact form. So whenever someone fills out your contact form on your website, if you have it embedded from HoneyBook, um, you can have it automatically trigger this automation to start if you only use one type of automation or if you have an overarching automation that you use for all of your clients. So we'll do wedding invites and that will automatically assign them there. I'll go into Jim's test project and if I want to select an automation, I can just select this one. Quick apply will apply it as is. Customize and apply means you can change things just for Jim. It's not gonna change the entire automation, uh, but you'll be able to change something in case you need something slightly different for Jim. You need to delete a step, add a step, etc. So I'll just do a quick apply here. And then the upcoming steps are right there. So if this showed you the power of automations on HoneyBook, I think this is so next level. You need to have those email templates and forms and brochures and soon to be flows set up in order for this to work, in order for this to really add value to your business. But once it does, you can basically add value to your client experience without ever lifting a finger. So you never have to lift a finger for it to send that resource email, for it to send the questionnaire, thank them for the questionnaire, um, tell them you know how much further it is until their proofs are ready, just so many different things you can do. I love to do like after the project date, um, a couple weeks after their wedding, ask them for reviews, ask them for photographer photos, etc. So there's so many different possibilities here and I hope you'll let me know how you end up using the HoneyBook automations. As a reminder, you can save 50% with code Lainey or the link in the description of this video. Um, I hope you'll check that out, try out their free trial for seven days. And if you want to uh, delve further into HoneyBook and some other client management systems, check out the other videos on this playlist. Thanks everybody.